Hey everyone, it's Scott from StartMedia.com. Today we're we'll be covering Social Warfare, a free sharing plugin for your website. Social Warfare is it got a small active installation, but it's got a huge following. It's a very simple, straightforward, and very effective sharing plugin. There are some gripes that I have with it, of course, and I've covered those in a blog post where I went over the extra loading of CSS files and inline CSS in the header, and I had to come up with a fix to help optimize the plugin, but I still really like the plugin. So this will be the free version that we're covering, and in a later video I will go into the pro version, and I'm just gonna be going over what I typically recommend are the settings that you run, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So when you install it, you get a nice little menu sort of like this. You're left with social networks and it'll show you what's active and what's inactive. What I typically like to do is I like to send them in the order that I know they're going to be shared. Typically my posts work out to where Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and then Mix are the optimal sharing. I do enable all the share buttons. And once that is done and you hit save, the share button should begin to show up at least on your recent posts, like so. So now at the bottom of the Hello World post, it shows me the following buttons, and it shows me a share counter. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of share, but share counters. I think that they're fairly pointless, and they tend to slow the website down. But for those who do use it, you do have quite a bit of functionality. You can enable a button count, and you can choose to round up to how many decimal places. You can do the alignment of the share counter to be the left or the right, and then you can choose the separator to be a period or a comma. But as I mentioned, I'm not a fan of this functionality and I typically turn it off. Then what you do is you have the ability to choose what pages and content types the buttons are active on. And by default, you also get floating share buttons that are active and I find them to be fairly intrusive. Typically what I do is I only enable share buttons on the content that I'm looking to actually have shared. Typically post and maybe a portfolio post type are typically the ones that I'm hoping to get shared, but pages I definitely don't want to be shared. Contact us pages don't need share buttons and I certainly don't like the floating buttons. While the floating buttons may increase your shares, I find them to be very intrusive and they're just a distraction. So I typically turn them off. I also typically only include share buttons at the below, below the content, but you can choose to place them above, both above and below, or if your theme has placements within the post, you can do a manual placement. But I'm going to just run it like so. That way it's only showing below the post and that there's no share counters. What's great about this plugin too is it's fully responsive and as you add more buttons, it will shrink them to make them fit within the space that they're given. Underneath styles, you can choose some additional functionality to change how it looks. If you have floating share buttons active, you'll be able to choose the float position at the bottom of the page, at the top of the page, on the left or right side of the page as well. What I've run into with these buttons, and I'll show you what these look like, is they don't feel right in any position that isn't floating at the above the content or to the side of the or the bottom of the content. So as you saw earlier, what it looked like floating from the bottom, the top allows it to stick up at the top like this. And my problem with this is typically your navigation is up here and a sticky navigation is far more useful than the share buttons. I also find that this buttons preview is fairly pointless for the lack of a better word. I don't understand where this buttons preview comes from because Google Plus for instance, doesn't even exist as an option anymore and yet it's included here in mix.com, which was enabled, isn't included here. This section is very odd and needs to be updated. But we've enabled the floating share button, so we have them at the top. Now, one thing that you can do is tell it to float before the content as well. When you enable this, what this does is before you get to the content, the share buttons do not show. But if you enable it beforehand, what it will do is as you get to before the content, then it will also begin floating until in, as opposed to after the content. Again, I don't, I'm not a fan of this, and then I'll show you what they briefly look like on the left in the side, but you're gonna see why I don't like that. So floating on the left-hand side, they basically stick out right here, and it feels very off. Unlike and add this, which has a very nice floating design, these just feel off. They feel like they were just 
added there, and I'm not really a big fan of it. The transition effects even aren't really good. You can either slide them in or they can fade in, but the fade in is a little harsh and it looks a quite a bit odd when you're scrolling because you could see where the break point is and if you just sit on that break point you can see how it is. I'm not a big fan of the sliding on the left or the right hand side of the page and I wouldn't really recommend you enable it either. I'm going to disable that functionality. Under the styles you can also choose, we're just going to turn all of this off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the social identity. Social identity allows you to set up the URLs of the pages or the usernames of your social media pages. So if somebody tweets your post, they'll tweet it at, say, at cert underscore media, and then they'll tweet it at me. If you don't include it, then it'll be a standard share URL that will simply include the title of the post, and then it'll include the URL linking to the post. Simple standard share. The ones that you should really fill out though, I do recommend you fill out your profile so that way it's tweeting at you to make your pages get more engagement. So I would tweet at the usernames for your Twitter, your Pinterest, and your Facebook. You don't need to include a Facebook app ID, but if you want to get analytics and tracking information, then you need to set that up and then you can manage it from the Facebook app interface. Finally, there's the advanced section. In the advanced section, this does have full support for Gutenberg blocks. I will show you what that looks like. Frame Buster, which is to help stop, stop people from scraping content. And then full content versus excerpts. If your theme does not support excerpts but shows full, full post content, this will allow the buttons to appear in the various pages. So I'm going to see if I can get this to show on this default theme. And it doesn't look like it's going to work with me. I may have to go to my reading settings and see if I can set it to full. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I might have to do, mm, let's try this. Effectively, what it's supposed to do is show you the share buttons. There you go. So if you have this active and you also have it set to show below the content on the home page, it will add your share buttons. Basically, if you're using full text instead of the summary option, you have to enable under the advanced section this setting as well if you want the share buttons to show. I'm going to just turn all that back to normal because typically I only want the share button showing on the page that's actually being shared. And then finally, under the advanced option, we have the Gutenberg blocks, and I'm going to show you what the Gutenberg block does. So you write your title, and then you can write, you can include the block from Social Warfare. And they have two blocks currently Social Warfare, which is the sharing buttons. I think it should really include a different name instead of social warfare because this did not make it clear that this was a button. And what's worse about this is it's really just a glorified short code in better. When typically when you're working with blocks, you want the content to show up. And I don't understand why social warfare went the root of well, this is basically just a glorified short code that you can modify if you want to include share buttons to another post or if you would just want to change the networks that are shown but it doesn't show me in real time what that is so i'm not a big fan of this option furthermore you have the click to tweet functionality which there's no click to tweet at this time so we're just going to type hello world now we're going to click save as draft I'm going to reload this and voila this one at least shows some functionality but i would really have liked to get a preview of what click to tweet look like and it doesn't do that so while the blocks are great and they do work and this i do recommend you integrate into your writing because that'll allow you to embed typical types of content that you can't really otherwise do putting your share buttons in particular positions within your post and either having them point to a different URL or just pointing to the URL of the post can be really useful and couldn't lead to an increase in your shares. The click to tweet functionality is also amazing if you're trying to get quotes that are easily tweetable and that you want them to be tweeted. So if you're writing a tweet and you want somebody else to tweet it and you want to include the URL to, uh, not the URL, clear the username 
up your own Twitter account, it's a great way of getting tweets. These things typically tend to have much higher engagement rates than the regular Twitter button itself. But otherwise, that's really all you need to know about Social Warfare. If you have any questions about the plugin, feel free to ask me in the comments below. This is just a free version review. I'd like in the future to cover the premium version as well. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.